morning traders welcome to the tmt stock market strategy video for tuesday february 25th had a nice reversal in the markets due to crude oil uh, right after around 11 11 30 ish the markets uh, crude actually uh, popped after uh, oil inventories came out uh, and then uh, markets followed suit and kind of grinded higher pretty much most of the day and uh, we're still holding these gains in the overnight so that's actually a, a pretty decent sign here we're up well we're up about we're basically flat on the day we we're up a couple of handles and uh uh, and then markets kind of sold off a little bit into a number this morning that we're getting. So uh, where do we go from here, right? Well, we're, we're at these areas, and I want to show you some of the indexes again, and uh, we want to continue to watch and monitor. We're at a big inflection point, right about 194-ish, 195 in the spiders. Uh, as you can see, held many, many times uh, based on these arrows, and we're underneath the 50-day moving average. Also, in the S&P and the ES, 1950 is going to be a really big area if we – if we take 1950 out, then I would suspect that we um, we move higher. If we break down and hold the 1950, then we're going to move lower here. And uh, and what I mean by that is, you know, we're still right around the trading around the 1930-ish, so we still got 20 plus handles to go to the upside. Um, so that's something that I think the market still needs to prove itself. Uh, I personally, again, I mentioned it yesterday, I do call this market suspect, this rally. I don't believe at all that we are out of the woods and, uh, and everything is just fine. And let's start buying stocks again when you have a lot of retail, a lot of institutions, and a lot of traders uh, all stuck up here. At the, uh, the Those who hold positions are stuck up at this 2000 area. And when we get closer to that 1950-ish, 60, 70 maybe, in the ES, I think they're going to start hitting it and start bringing it down and make that lower high one more time. Um, excuse me, that higher low. Uh, and that's what I'm looking for is something maybe that 187 uh, right down here or even uh, even hit another hit this bottom again where we held the last couple of times uh, and then start to rally again. Now, remember, uh, as you know, oil is highly influential right now in equities. Therefore, we need to pay attention to those seasonal uh, build in inventories, which I keep mentioning the last few weeks, which comes in the March and April. And then we have two back-to-back -back good trading months back to back which is march and april for u.s equities so i think that once we get maybe a little scare in the markets one more time and we do sell off then i do think that that should put an interim low in the markets and then we can start rallying going into the summer months all right now that, again just a projection nothing to nothing to trade off of at the moment we need to see hard evidence of price action on the charts and then we can base our technical analysis on that all right so daily spiders you could see still holding that that um that um 50-day moving average. Now, well, another thing I want to point out, I mentioned yesterday, but I figured let me highlight it today. We had um, a gap here that we sold off. We filled the gap here. We filled this gap, and we filled this gap here, right? So we came all the way down to price here. We still got a couple more gaps here to fill, a very small one here. So um, I'm going to pay attention to these gap fills. Uh, these gap fill areas actually um, do uh, act as support when, when, when in fact, um, we get down to that area. So we have a big gap area here, and then we have a small little gap area, but nonetheless, it is still a gap area right up in here, and let me just put that there. And I'm going to leave these out there to see when we fill these gaps, we'll take them away. But so you can see this has been filled. These two have been filled. We've got two more down, way down here at the 183, 183, 184-ish, and then again 185 to 188. So let's pay attention to those numbers. Um, and let's uh, let's see if this market can actually fill these gaps. Now, if they fill the gap, and then we get some sort of stabilization here, I would like it even to test these lows. We even get down to the lows. Uh, that would be even a better uh, better bargain, if you will, to come in and uh, scoop up some stocks. All right, uh, transports uh, looking okay on the daily, terrible on the weekly. We talked about that. Um, and also, you know, I mentioned that the uh, the banks and financials uh, look just horrendous. And uh, I want to show that to you in a moment. All right, so here's the um, XL of banks and financials. You can see here, does this look like anything bullish at all? We call that double top um, right up in here, early November, December. I mean, look at this. This is just horrendous. This is terrible looking chart. Um, we're not going to have major participation to the upside if, if in fact, the banks and financials don't participate as well. Uh, so you have an ugly-looking chart here. We're way away from the 50, way away from the 200. It needs a lot, a lot of work. And as you can see, we do have this thin zone on these volume profiles here. You could see as we go all the way down. But here is a big area. And you could see it's holding this area. Um, and let me just write, put that horizontal line here on the XLF. 
So it's holding this area. You could see clear as day that this is a very big area of um, of resistance, and it is holding true right now. So it's the, it needs to take this out. It needs to take out the uh, the the uh, twenty day and the fifty day moving average, the, just to even get back up to these levels. Okay, so not really good. This is not what you want to see if we're rallying. So to me, again, this is just called a short covering rally for me. Uh, another reason: look at the XLU. The utilities are continue to explode higher. The um, uh, REITs, these consumer staples, gold continues to hold, stay, uh, uh, catch a bid and have uh, be well bid up. Um, so that tells me that uh, that there is no way near a bottom at the moment because we still have fear. Here's GLD weekly. I showed this to you, and this is just uh, not good when you have gold uh, moving higher. Right, XLU utilities should be moving lower at this time of year. Seasonal weakness is upon the utility sector, and it's nowhere near that because why the safe trade, safety trade is upon us still. All right, so there's still we haven't capitulated to the downside as of yet, like we did in August. All right, so just be careful. XLK, same thing, ugly looking chart. The technology sector can't have technology not participate in the rally. So your banks, financials, technology, they're all not participating in this little shortcoming rally. And that's all it is, is a shortcoming rally, guys. Be very, very careful. Russell 2000, another case in point. Um, we're, below, we're above the 20, but look at how below we are from the 50-day moving average. So still, the uh, Russell 2000 small caps are not participating in this rally. So this, to me, is just a shortcoming rally. That's all it is at the moment. Okay, diamonds. We are below the 50, but not too far away. But again, guys, you can see this ugly-looking chart. Gaps all over the place, telling me that there is still volatility in the markets, which is good. That's what we want. But again, um, use caution if you're looking to buy these, uh, looking by beat-up names. I don't think that the market is done going down at the moment. And lastly is the Qs again, uh, another form of technology. You can see uh, some of the big, bigger cap stocks are still not doing too well. So what I want, uh, what my 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 uh, game plan is basically to trade the trend for the day and if you are trading the trend for a day and you have a systematic approach we talk about this in our uh, pro trader premiere video and also in our uh, dark pool uh, room trading room come visit us take a look take a free trial guys it's uh it's highly profitable um calls out high probability trades and we'll keep ourselves on the same side what the dark pool activity is doing so you might want to check that out as well have a great day everybody good luck today and uh, happy trading